If you're taking college algebra, you need to know a lot about functions. And one of the most important things that you need to understand about functions is how to find the domain and range of a function. So here we have a function f of x is equal to 7 over 2x plus 1. And let's say we want to find the domain of this function under the set of real numbers. Now, what does this mean? Well, the domain of a function is all numbers that you're allowed to plug in to the function. Now, uh, what type of numbers are we not allowed to plug into a function under the set of real numbers? Well, let's talk about that real quick. But first, let's just make sure you understand what the real number system is. So to understand the real number system, all we have to do is take a look at the real number line. So here is zero in the middle. And then of course we have all of our positive numbers in this direction and all of our negative numbers in this direction to include fractions, decimals, square roots, etc. All right, so this is the entire set of real numbers. So out of all these numbers, what numbers are we not allowed to plug into a function when we're talking about the domain under the set of real numbers. Well, basically we can plug in any number that we want into a function, but if any value causes these two conditions, well, it's not allowed in the domain. And that is any value that causes you to have a zero in the denominator or a negative underneath a square root. So these are the two conditions that you cannot have when we're talking about the domain under the set of real numbers. Okay, so because we have a fraction here, we have to pay, uh, pay particular attention to this denominator. So any x value that we plug into this function that would cause this entire denominator to be zero is not allowed. So that's the only condition that um, we have to be very careful here in terms of the domain. So how do we figure this out? Well, what we're gonna do is say, all right, two x plus one, when are you equal to zero? So we're gonna set up a simple equation like this. So two x plus one is equal to zero when? Well, all we have to do is solve for x. So this is gonna be two x is equal to negative one, or x is equal to negative one half. All right, so when x is equal to negative one half, two x plus one is equal to zero. So uh, x equals to negative one half cannot be uh, plugged into this function here because it would cause a zero down in the denominator. All right, so the domain of this function is the entire real number set except for x cannot be equal to negative one half.